Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite <clears throat> foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. And uh, something real quick. All right, quick lesson. Uh, really a testimony of what happened to me yesterday. You know, through the spirit, I was meditating on this. And, uh, you know, whether I should uh, do this lesson or not. But upon meditating on it, you know. I believe it it'd be a good thing to let uh the body know you know that um hey the lord almost <laughs> hey the lord almost killed me yesterday all right now i did a, i did a lesson earlier going into the fear of the lord all right earlier this week a lesson going into the fear of the lord how hey the lord would jack you up right and how it's a it's a good thing to fear God because that's when you start receiving knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right, uh, the Lord starts dealing with you. All right, um, um, uh, the perks of fearing the Lord. You know how He's gonna have the angels and camp around about you, the ones that fear Him, etc. All right, but um, even being in this truth. You know, serving Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity, a hey, he'll still jack you up. All right, he'll still he'll still make you go through things, whether it's a physical, or you know, just uh, this this random sh stuff happening. You whether it be things with your your, your vehicle or your your uh, relationships. Whatever the case may be, you know, it's not always physical, but uh, yesterday, man, the Lord, hey, how about she, man, I uh, could have could have took me out. You know, I easily could have got taken out. All right, I'm going to read this scripture and I'm going to just uh, give you a quick account of what happened. It says um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Heavenly Father is in charge of all of these things. Okay, He can kill you, he could take you away, right? He could take your life, and He could bring you, He could give you life. He'll, he, he could wound you, and He could heal you. All right, so all of these come from God, and I always use the example of a hey, you know um, you stubbed your toe against the the iron the, like that hard railing of your of your bed, or or you stub your pinky toe on that the corner of the, the 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 chair, right? You know, I always I always say like, hey, that's the Lord, you know, the Lord jacking you up for something you might have done, you know, He wounded you a little bit. All right, but hey, the Lord gave me a, a a a big wound yesterday. All right, now I'm going through the healing process, you know, and uh, you know, the Wadi how about me? I was shy for for sparing me, cause um, you know, I wouldn't be here doing this lesson, and as well the Wadi for jacking me up because it's an eye opener. All right. Hey, it lets us know. Hey, we could we could be here one second, and the next could be you could be out of here without like just at a blink of an eye. All right, it, it happens so fast. So basically, long story short, 
I was moving a, a washer machine. I have a I have a small like little compact washing machine. The shit's still heavy as shit. All right, the damn washing machine is still heavy, even though it's a small little one that you know doesn't take up as much clothes to wash. You can only do small loads in it. The damn thing is still heavy at the end of the day. So I was moving it from taking it downstairs because it's messed up. You know, yeah, I was getting rid of it. And uh, I, uh, the damn thing just, it fell. All right, I'm going down the stairs with it. The, the thing fell because the, um, the weight on the washer machine is weird. It's like not proportional. It's just one side is kind of heavier than the other. I don't know. It's bugged out. However, the build is on those machines. Long story short, the machine, uh, as I'm at the top of the staircase, all right, um, um, whether I don't know how it happened, honestly, it just happened so fast, whether I lost footing or the um, it slipped off of the, the step or however it happened, the damn thing came tumbling down on me <laughs> all the way on the top of the stairs. All right. I'm like freaking like, like not even halfway down the stairs. I'm, I'm like um, still at the top and the, the damn washing machine came flying down on me right and this thing is heavy and i'm flying down the stairs i don't even it felt like i was like f like gliding down the stairs to be on i don't even know how i didn't tumble down the stairs it, it, it was it was it's just i can't even wrap my mind it happened so fast but um the thing landed on my head all right i ended up like in a turtle position going down the stairs where I, my my knee um um and my my arm was kind of like i was kind of balled up with my knees and my my arms tucked in as i'm like falling down the staircase i'm trying to push i'm trying to push the machine hold it up and the machine is pushing me down uh but um i ended up landing on my knee on the at the bottom of the staircase with uh you know my um my right my right arm kind of like over my head to protect my head but the machine i took i took like the full force of it coming down the stairs on the top of my head like i'm literally on the crown of my head when i landed at the bottom of the staircase so this thing came tumbling down i'm in front of it holding holding it up as i'm falling down so as as i get down to the bottom of the staircase that's when the the, the uh, machine landed on my head the top of my head and then my my girl was all screaming she thought i was dead she's screaming and hollering and and um i was i was conscious through the whole thing and and as soon as um you know um when it hit my head, I felt that the most. My knee and my wrist, I didn't even feel that till later on. I didn't even feel that. But when it hit the top of my head, I was like, damn. I was like, shoot. I was I was just waiting for, you know, me to just go into a seizure or I don't know what the heck. I was just waiting for it because I could feel like the top of my head get like real, um, like, tingly slash warm it got like real hot and tingly and i was just um you know as soon as it happened i, I started crawling out the way uh my girl she thought i was dead but i like right away i got up on my uh like on my knees and i was like i'm cool i'm straight i'm straight but i was still waiting like damn like am i gonna is it gonna swell up am i gonna go through a seizure what's going and nothing happened like literally nothing happened like my head don't even hurt. I got a I got a big ass cartoon lump on the top of my head. You know, it hurts a little bit. It's tender, but it, that that didn't really hurt. What really hurt was my knee. All right, and my and kind of like my wrist from like trying to break the fall. But um, I don't know how how to be honest how the machine didn't hit my head. Um, 
from the crown of my head and smush it down onto the onto the ground or on one of the staircases because that thing was heavy and I, I managed the uh, you know a however the Lord had it planned out where the machine just bounced flew off of my head like the machine literally flew off of my head like it uh, you would think it would it would have with the force coming down it would have smushed my head down onto the to the ground on the floor but it didn't do that how i have no idea it happened so fast but um you know i was reflecting on it like damn the lord jacked me up he could have easily took me out you know and um ate the wadi how about shimmy how shy because hey we're not um you know uh we're not we're not um what's the word the lord still jack you up even though you're in this truth all right we've done things in our past or uh in our present life that the lord still wants to jack you up for all right and i thought about this scripture you know the lord the lord will kill you he could bring you alive he could wound you and he could heal you and the lord wounded me yesterday all right and um it could have been a lot worse you know it could have been a lot worse and um, I was meditating on that, like, man, the Lord jacked me up. And hey, even though we're in this truth, even though we're serving him in truth and sincerity, he'll he'll still jack you up. All right. He'll humble you down. You know, he'll let you know, look, hey, you're still in this flesh, you know, you, and and hey, we just <laughs> hey, we got to be, you know, man. You know, we got to be um, have that mindset that, hey, look, just because we're in this truth don't mean that we're untouchable. You know, the Lord, the Lord Jack Job up. All right. And Job all right, was a righteous man and he still jacked Job up, you know. So I just wanted to share that, you know, hey, the Lord almost took me out yesterday. But at the end of the day, um, I'm taking this as a learning experience. You know, a humbling experience um, that the Lord, you know, the Lord is um, chastening me. You know, I'm not I'm I'm all right. You know, I got a little my knee is a little sore. My my wrist is a little banged up. And my top of my head is a little bit tender. But at the end of the day, you know, I took it as um, a the Lord jacked me up um, for for whatever I might have did in the past or uh I might have done in this in this present lifetime, um, you know, and and hey, just to let me know that, hey, look, I'll still jack your ass up. <laughs> you know, the Lord still jack your ass up, you know, so how willing for those that were edified it was um, to next time. Shalom.